everyone, this is Elizabeth. I'm one of the Information Services Librarians at the Waukesha Public Library, and today I'm going to be sharing a few quick uh, mystery series recommendations. So first off, if you are a fan of uh, Carrie Greenwood's Franny Fisher novels, or if you watched Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries, you may want to check out Deanna Rayborn's Veronica Speedwell series, which starts with A Curious Beginning. Um, these are set in Victorian England, and Veronica is a high-spirited, fantastic heroine, and she is not at all a proper Victorian lady. She solves crimes alongside Stoker, an enigmatic natural historian. These books are a lot of fun. They feature plenty of adventure, romance, and lots of witty dialogue, so check them out. Another great historical mystery series um, it's by Abir Mukherjee, and those are the Sam Wyndham novels, which start with A Rising Man. Um, and these are set in 1920s Calcutta. They feature Sam, who is a World War I veteran and former Scotland Yard detective. And he joins the Imperial Police Force and works alongside Sergeant Banerjee, who is one of the only Indian officers on the force. Um, these books are great if you are looking for something fast-paced, if you like a flawed but likable hero. Um, a Rising Man actually won the British Crime Writers Association's Historical Dagger Award, so um, it's definitely worth checking out. Finally, if you are looking for a cozy mystery that's fun and engaging, definitely check out Nancy Coco's Candy Coated Mystery Series, which starts with All Fudged Up. Um, these are set on Mackinac Island in Michigan, and they feature Allie McMurphy, who runs a historic hotel and fudge shop. Um, they feature lots of fudge recipes uh, throughout the book, and these are great for fans of Jen McKinley, Isis Crawford. Um, I myself do not make a lot of fudge, but I did attempt Nancy Coco's recipe for um, no-bake peanut butter chocolate chip fudge, which I'm going to try to show you here. Um, it's a little rough looking, but that's probably my fault, not Nancy Coco's, and tastes good. So definitely it's worth checking out. Um, anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, let us know what your favorite mystery series are, and if there's any other genres you'd like to hear us talk about. Thanks. Have a great day.